Our solar system is made up of a captivating collection of planets and various celestial objects, all bound together by gravitational force, with the Sun at its center. Within this vast system, we find moons, dwarf planets, asteroids, meteoroids, and even comets. Today, in the space world, we will examine the peculiarities of each planet, their engaging orbits, and how the entire solar system fits into the vastness of the universe. When we talk about planets, we note that eight of them inhabit our cosmic surroundings. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. With a history of about 4.5 billion years, the solar system is located within the Milky Way galaxy. If we take Pluto's distant orbit as a reference, this astronomical family stretches across more than 3.1 billion miles. The closest planetary system to ours is Alpha Centauri, our neighbor located about 4.3 light years away. Proxima Centauri, the star closest to the Sun, is about 4.2 light years from us. To give you an idea of the size of our star, nearly a million Earth-sized planets could fit inside the Sun. Spectroscopic analyses indicate that the Sun is primarily composed of hydrogen and helium, along with a small fraction of other elements. In the solar core, nuclear fusion constantly occurs, turning hydrogen into helium and releasing all the light and heat radiated into space. Both the Sun and the rest of the solar system likely formed around 4.6 billion years ago, when a cloud of gas and dust, possibly from ancient supernova explosions, collapsed. Although the Sun is neither the largest nor the brightest of stars, it is vital for life on Earth. It is a medium-sized, stable, and relatively young star located in one of the spiral arms of the Milky Way. While it is common in galactic terms, its presence is essential for our survival. When discussing planets, they are classified into inner and outer planets. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are rocky and smaller while Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune are large gas giants that formed in more distant regions from the Sun. This variation in density arises from the initial conditions in each region. Close to the Sun, only heavier elements could condense, resulting in rocky planets. In colder zones, ice prevailed, leading to the formation of the gas giants. The asteroid belt, filled with fragments that never formed a planet, marks the separation between the inner and outer planets. As for Pluto, it was long considered the ninth planet, but was reclassified as a dwarf planet in 2006 due to its orbital behavior. The main reason for this reclassification is that Pluto does not clear its orbital neighborhood, meaning it shares this region with bodies of similar size and gravitational influence, such as its moon Charon. What we've covered so far is just an introduction, each planet has unique characteristics, which we will detail below. In this representation, you can see the orbits of the planets around the Sun. Now let's dive into the peculiarities of each of these worlds. Mercury. The smallest planet in the solar system, Mercury has a diameter just over a third of Earth's and is the closest to the Sun. Its surface, similar to the Moon's, displays craters and rocky formations captured by space imagery. Notable features include lobed scarps, indicating a gradual contraction of the planet. Mercury is slowly shrinking due to the cooling of its core over billions of years. Like the Moon, Mercury shares chemical similarities, ice at its poles, and numerous impact marks. At times, we can see it from Earth, typically just after sunset or in the early morning. Despite being the closest planet to the Sun, Mercury can have extremely high temperatures, over 752 degrees Fahrenheit on the side facing the sun and extremely cold temperatures, around negative 274 degrees Fahrenheit on the opposite side, as it lacks a substantial atmosphere to retain heat. Venus. Venus surprises with its size, mass, and chemical composition very similar to Earth's. However, its dense atmosphere traps heat generating an intense greenhouse effect that raises surface temperatures to over 860 degrees Fahrenheit, almost the melting point of lead. This makes Venus the hottest planet in the solar system. Venus's atmosphere is mainly composed of carbon dioxide, with small traces of other gases such as oxygen. The surface pressure is 90 times higher than Earth's, and the winds follow complex patterns. 
Venus rotates in the opposite direction of most other planets and takes more time to complete a rotation, 243 Earth days, due to its extremely slow rotation. This period is longer than its orbital period, which is 225 Earth days. Although it almost has no water today, the abundance of deuterium suggests that in its distant past, the planet may have been more humid. Earth, the third planet from the Sun and our home. Earth is the only known place to harbor life. It is at an ideal distance from the Sun to support mild temperatures and liquid water. It also has an ozone layer that protects it, vast oceans covering about 75% of its surface, and a strong magnetic field. Unlike other rocky planets, Earth has a relatively fast rotation and an atmosphere rich in nitrogen and oxygen, which becomes thinner as altitude increases. A distinctive feature is the presence of tectonic plates, responsible for continuously altering the surface over geological periods, which explains why many craters have been erased. Earth also has a diverse terrain, mountains, plains, deserts, and an abundance of fresh water, both on the surface and in underground reservoirs. The Moon, our natural satellite, causes tides, a phenomenon vital for Earth's ecosystems. It is also worth noting that the visible side of the Moon is always the same due to its synchronized rotation with the planet. Mars Mars is slightly smaller than Earth and Venus, though still larger than Mercury. Its reddish surface is due to the presence of iron oxides. For centuries, people speculated about the possibility of intelligent life on the planet. Its atmosphere, mostly carbon dioxide with traces of argon, is thin and there is no significant oxygen or water vapor. The absence of a strong magnetic field leaves Mars exposed to solar wind given its thin atmosphere. There are signs that the planet once had liquid water in the distant past. One of its standout features is Olympus Mons, the largest volcano in the solar system. It is three times taller than Mount Everest and a hundred times more voluminous than Mauna Loa in Hawaii. Due to reduced tectonic activity and low gravity, lava accumulated over long periods, forming this colossal structure. Jupiter. The largest planet in the solar system is Jupiter, with a diameter about 11 times that of Earth. It is characterized by a turbulent atmosphere with very strong winds. The iconic Great Red Spot is a persistent storm with gusts of up to 373 miles per hour. Being predominantly gas, Jupiter has no solid surface. As you move deeper into its layers, the pressure increases to the point of turning gas into liquid. Its rapid rotation causes it to become noticeably flattened at the poles. Most of its composition is hydrogen and helium, similar to the sun, but it also has a hot core made up of heavier elements, as evidenced by the infrared radiation it emits. Jupiter has a powerful magnetic field, about 14 times stronger than Earth's, and numerous moons, including Io, Europa, Callisto, and Ganymede, the largest moon in the solar system. Each of these moons has unique phenomena, such as volcanism, water indications, and extreme environments. Saturn. Unmistakable for its stunning rings, Saturn was first observed by Galileo in 1609. These rings, made up of countless ice particles, likely originated from ancient moons or comets that collided with the planet. Some of its moons, known as shepherd moons, help maintain the structure of the rings and define their boundaries along the equatorial plane. Saturn has low density and spins rapidly, causing it to take the shape of a flattened spheroid, so light that, in theory, it would float in a giant ocean. The varying rotation at different latitudes and the gravitational influence of its moons also contribute to its shape. Internally, it is similar to Jupiter, with a gas mantle and a hot core made up of heavy elements. Data from the Voyager, Cassini, and Ulysses missions support this structural model. Uranus. Uranus displays unique rotational characteristics, as it has a retrograde rotation, like Venus, and an axis that is tilted about 97.9 degrees relative to its orbital plane. Thus, it appears to spin on its side, creating seasons that last about 21 years. Its bluish-green color is due to methane in its much colder atmosphere compared to Jupiter and Saturn. There are still many gaps in our understanding of its interior. 
Uranus and Neptune are classified as ice giants, containing substances in both gaseous and liquid states. Due to its smaller mass and pressure, Uranus does not form metallic hydrogen like Jupiter, but it maintains a significant magnetic field, similar to Earth's. It also has rings, though faint, which were detected in 1977 when the planet temporarily blocked the light from a star. Several moons orbit Uranus, including Oberon, Titania, Umbriel, Ariel, and Miranda, named after writers like Alexander Pope and William Shakespeare. Evidence of frozen water has been found on some of them. Neptune. At the edge of our system lies Neptune, the most distant planet from the Sun. Its discovery was due to gravitational disturbances that suggested an unknown object. From Earth, Neptune appears as a small bluish dot. Until the late 1980s, little was known about it. The Voyager mission revealed storms, intense winds, and the so-called Great Dark Spot, similar to Jupiter's Great Red Spot. Its atmosphere contains methane, and the planet has a set of rings, although less notable than Saturn's. Inside, Neptune has an icy crust covering a metallic core and generates its own magnetic field. Around 15 moons have been catalogued, but there may be more as Neptune remains poorly explored. Among its most famous moons are Triton, with a retrograde orbit and a thin nitrogen atmosphere, and Nereid. In addition to the planets, our solar system also contains other bodies of great interest, such as dwarf planets, moons, comets, asteroids, and meteoroids, all with their own distinct characteristics. Dwarf planets. In regions like the space between Mars and Jupiter and the Kuiper Belt, located beyond Neptune, lie several objects that, according to astronomical criteria, cannot be considered traditional planets. This includes Ceres, located in the asteroid belt, and Pluto, once considered the ninth planet and now classified as a dwarf planet. Other notable examples include Eris, Makemake, and Haumea, all orbiting in distant zones from the Sun. To be recognized as a planet, an object must orbit the Sun, have an approximately spherical shape, and have enough gravity to clear its orbit. Since Ceres, Pluto, and Eris do not meet the last requirement, they are classified as dwarf planets. In the distant Kuiper Belt, more objects are likely awaiting discovery. Moons. Larger planets and even Pluto have natural satellites. Over a hundred moons are known to orbit the gas giants, while Earth and Mars have only three. Earth's moon and Mars's two moons, Phobos and Deimos. Others may be discovered, especially around more distant planets like Neptune. In some cases, these moons have irregular shapes or may even be considered temporary when captured by gravity for limited periods. In addition to the main planets, dwarf planets also have their own satellites. Comets. Made of ice, rock, and dust, comets are remnants from the primordial cloud that created our solar system. Typically, they reside in distant regions but occasionally migrate toward the sun. Astronomers point to three zones in the far reaches of the solar system where they are concentrated. The Kuiper Belt, the Scattered Disk, and the Oort Cloud. Asteroids, centaurs, and meteoroids. Asteroids are smaller rocky bodies than moons or dwarf planets, mainly found in the asteroid belt, which separates the rocky planets from the gas giants. Centaurs, discovered in 1977, display characteristics of both asteroids and comets, inspiring their name based on the mythological half-man, half-horse creature. Finally, meteoroids are fragments from larger objects, ranging in size from just over a grain of dust to several dozen miles across. Given the vastness of the cosmos, our solar system alone offers a wealth of stories and discoveries. As we progress in space research and exploration, we realize that we are part of an ever-expanding universe, full of wonders far beyond the limits of our imagination. It serves as a reminder of our place in the universe, but also as a constant source of inspiration for human curiosity to continue unveiling its mysteries. We hope this video has been helpful. If you have anything to add or would like to suggest topics for new content, please leave your comment. Your participation helps keep alive the passion for exploration and the knowledge of the unknown. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It's very important.
And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I invite you to click the subscribe button below. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.